Robots have been used for centuries, with the earliest examples dating back to 350 BC. The term robot was first used in the early 1900s, and robots have come a long way since then. Early robots were crude machines designed to perform repetitive tasks, but modern robots are far more sophisticated. They are intended to be more human-like in appearance, with some even displaying emotions and self-awareness. Robots have become increasingly common in recent years, and they will only become more so in the future. Before we get started make sure to like the video, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Most people associate the term robot with R2-D2 and C-3PO from Star Wars, the hyper-masculine Arnold Schwarzenegger from the Terminator series, or the rover Sojourner, which explored the Martian landscape as part of the Mars Pathfinder mission. Some people believe that robots will soon be able to think for themselves and take over the world. Others believe that we will soon be at the mercy of these robots due to our increasing reliance on them to perform our daily tasks. These ideas arise entirely from a lack of awareness. A robot is any machine that is capable of performing a complex series of actions automatically, particularly one that can be programmed by a computer. It could be a simple arm, used in surgery, a spy drone, or even the automated guided vehicles used in factories to transport materials. Everything falls under the umbrella term robotics. Furthermore, a robot does not have to be in humanoid form. Robotics has progressed from a simple mechanical bird to robot soldiers. Let us examine how the machines that serve as the backbone of today's world came to be and evolved over time. Karl Kapek, a Czech playwright, created an intelligent, artificially created person called Robot in 1921. Although the phrase was invented less than a century ago, robots were in use as early as 350 BC. Early Beginnings In 350 BC, the Greek mathematician Archytas created a mechanical bird called the pigeon, which was propelled by steam. One of the first examples of robotics in everyday life was the use of Egyptian water clocks, which used human figurines to strike the hour bells. It measured time as a result of the constant force of water falling through it. Leonardo da Vinci created a mechanical man in the 14th century that resembled an armored knight. The mechanisms inside the armored knight were designed to move the knight as if it were a real person. In 1810, the first modern robot was created. It could only be blown by a soldier with an automatic bellows, a device with an air bag that emits a stream of air when squeezed together with two handles, used for blowing air into a fire. Friedrich Kaufmann of Dresden, Germany, created it. Further advancements Nikola Tesla built a remote-controlled robot boat and demonstrated it at Madison Square Garden in 1898. Japan produced the first true robot toy in 1932. It was a walking wind-up toy named a Lilliput. Lilliput was made of tin plate and was only 15 centimeters tall. The year 1936 saw a major mathematical revolution. This was the year in which Alan Turing famously invented the Turing machine, a theoretical computer. With the introduction of programmable computers in the 1940s, the first true robots began to emerge. George Devil invented the first robots as we know them today in the 1950s. Unimate is a reprogrammable manipulator, basically a robot that he invented and patented. Unfortunately, he was unable to sell it. In the 1960s, Joseph Engelberger purchased the Unimate patent and modified it into an industrial robot, which he sold under the brand name Unimation. It was a programmable robotic arm that was installed on the assembly line of New Jersey General Motors seven years later. On the assembly line, this arm performed dangerous and repetitive tasks. Engelberger is known in the industry as the father of robotics for his efforts and success. Shaky, the first general-purpose mobile robot capable of reasoning about its own actions, was created in 1966 by the Stanford Research Institute. Unlike other robots, Shaky can analyze commands and break them down into basic chunks on its own. Traveling from one location to another, 
turning light switches on and off, opening and closing doors, climbing up and down rigid objects, and pushing movable objects around were all part of these actions. Victor Schiemann, a mechanical engineering student working in the Stanford Artificial Intelligence Lab, SAIL, created the Stanford Arm three years later. The arm's design became a template for future robot arms. Indeed, it is still in use today. In 1974, he founded his own company to manufacture the silver arm. Using touch sensors, this arm was capable of assembling small parts together. The first surgical robot, Puma 350, was used in the medical field in 1985. Its goal was to orient a needle for a brain biopsy using computerized tomography. It was later cancelled due to safety concerns. Dr. John Adler later developed the concept of Cyberknife, a robot that images a patient with X-rays to look for tumors in the body, in 1992. 1997 was possibly one of the most significant years in robotics history. The Mars Pathfinder mission was launched that year. Sojourner, a robotic Mars rover, was launched onto the Martian surface with the mission of transmitting data back to Earth from the Martian soil. Sony released AIBO, a robotic dog that can learn, entertain, and communicate with its owner, in 1999. With technological advancements, robots began to become increasingly autonomous. In 2002, a batch of SDR for C robots was released, capable of remembering people's faces, dancing to disco, and even singing in harmony. Soon after, inventors began to create more human-like robots. Artificial skin tissues, emotions, self-awareness, and autonomous thinking have all been incorporated into robots in recent years. Robothespian is one such machine that can entertain and communicate with humans. It is multilingual and fully interactive. Nanyang Technological University created Nadine, the most human-like robot ever created, in 2015. It is now employed as a university receptionist. Scientists are still developing new technology to provide childcare and companionship to lonely elderly people. The HAL robotic suits are possibly the most significant achievement in robotics, hybrid assistive limb. The HAL reads brain signals and assists people with mobility issues, making it especially useful for the disabled and the elderly. In terms of improving our quality of life, robots are actually doing more good than harm. Robots, like mobile phones, may become an integral part of our lives in a few years. The question is, is that really what we want? This was the evolution of the robots. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.